now to the uh, southeastern part of the state of Pennsylvania. Here in Bucks County, we have seen huge rainfall totals, over a half a foot in some areas. Uh, National Weather Service locally saying this is a one in a hundred year flood event. So huge, huge rainfall totals leading to, unfortunately, huge problems. And Dr. Nav, we're still monitoring those ongoing issues. Yeah, and Alex, uh, I think we're learning the hard way in this country that we get these big time floods in metro areas like Philadelphia and Trenton and in between a lot more often than that 100 years. This is a very flood prone area along the Delaware River and in our warming world these rain rates are just uh, you know, skyrocketing and uh, it has been one of those days where it has just rained really heavily, way more than any model said it would and we've had some catastrophic flooding. Now the good news is in some areas uh, the warnings are coming down, but in other areas it's coming up. Uh, this is between Baltimore and Philly, uh, northeastern Maryland. Uh, flood warning for Bel Air and Dublin and Falston until 1:45 in the morning. Look at how heavy that rain is. The vicious lightning uh, that we've seen. Severe thunderstorm warnings in that area. Wilmington, Delaware is under a flood. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for our area. Lighten up uh, real soon. Now, downtown Philly, no longer under a flash flood warning, but you go across the river and you're under a flood advisory in Cherry Hill and Washington until 10 p.m. Our flash flood emergency remains in effect for another hour. The rain letting up is very good news, but it does not mean all clear, not even close. We've got so much water covering communities, uh, and when you, again, look at the scale and the severity of the flooding, not just water-covered roads and people getting rescued from their vehicles, but again, I want to highlight some of these events in Bristol, people trapped in their homes near the 500 section of Bristol Pike. Also in Bristol, water rescues at the Lafayette Gardens condominium and you look at uh, the Croydon area. This was an earlier report, but it shows you how severe the event has been. Uh, Dixon Avenue washed out near Newport Road, evacuations from homes in the area. So this has been and continues to be a life-threatening situation. If you're in your home or in any structure and your life is threatened by floodwaters, don't get in your vehicle to go onto those water-covered roads. Go as high as you can, get up on the roof if you have to, don't go into an attic and you call 911. We still have a flash flood warning in Patterson, New Jersey, outside of New York City, and also up in Binghamton, New York area. Mike, Alex? Right, and then we're also...